Katie, I'm here, and you remember I planted a hot pepper, big Thai hybrids, the super hot ones, and this is what they're turning out like two weeks after I planted them. They are pretty big. They're... I can't really get focused on them. Maybe just I'm a little too close, but that's them. And I have new upgrades on my I heed the loose. You can see I'm just growing a pretty big leaf right there. The other middle leaves. So you're probably wondering what's the other one. It's right there. I don't think it's doing well right now. Pretty much broken off, sadly. So but we still have two of the plants, which is also good. It's fine. Good enough. Oh, and... So, I'm going to get all these set up. So... What I have all over here are dried out. Most of them are dried out. Some of them are fresh. These are either, some of these might be giveaways. Well, not really, probably not giveaways. But I might be selling these things online. If you're interested in buying some pepper seeds, this is a chocolate ghost pepper. It, I, I, I have two of them I'm with my friend. It's called Pepper Palace, and then the other one's called KJD Peppers. And what I also have here are Anaheim Pepper Seeds. These are very good. Anaheim Peppers are very good. Probably to eat. These are a bunch of dried up mixed peppers. These are some dried up jalapenos, some dried up cow horn peppers, and some dried up cayenne. Here's a normal banana pepper. This is what I have right here. Then we have normal ghost pepper you might get online. And last but not least, we got the Fresno pepper seeds. Ten seeds. And um, I hope you guys can buy these online because most of these are very spicy. Especially the ghost pepper and the chocolate ghost pepper. If you ever buy seeds from my thing, then this is what will happen. Most of the seeds will come in packets with a piece of the pepper. But sadly, not on the Anaheim pepper because it's way too big. So, that's all we have for now. Very squishy. I don't like that they're all squished up. The jalapenos. Uh, I'm really glad we have dried up jalapenos and dried up cayenne right over here. Dread of cayenne is probably my favorite that you can buy. Cow horns are really big. And now I will go show you my... So this is my jalapeno pepper plant. From my last video I had it outside, but now I brought it inside for my... Since the winter's coming, so I need some light on this. That's why I put it near the window. Then here we have a mint, the jalapeno pepper plant, another jalapeno pepper plant. Then we have a serrano pepper. Okay, that's just my dog, Mame. And then here, this is the biggest upgrade I probably have to date. This is the sweet pepper. Now, last time I did it, it was small, but it's this weekend we have to put it in the different pots individually. So then this one is the pepper princette. It's getting pretty big. And then this one is so big, it's getting knocked down by all the other pepper plants in here. So that's not good, that's why we have to go buy some pots. That's all I have for you today. Video. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.